Albert, this is the Business Day CEO Forum, and I'm standing here. My name is Elizabeth Musa, and I'm standing here with Mrs. Bolan Lake Austin Peters. I'm sure you all know her. So I'm just here to ask her questions about what leadership in top time means for her as, you know, as an entrepreneur, woman doing amazing things. What does it mean for you to be a leader in the stop time? How are you navigating it? I think um, a couple of things that come to mind. Times are tough, there's no doubt. But at that time, it's when you trust the most. Because the tide will always change. Uh, these times, the things that we have done in my businesses are, are as follows. We, number one, have innovated increasingly. We ask ourselves, what can we be doing differently? And uh, what is not working for us at the moment, even if it's what is the most popular, at times we have to shelve them to bring in new ideas to thrive in these present times. The second thing is the people that you're leading. We have brought them into the space, having conversations with them, and asking each and every one of them what their thoughts are on how we can pivot how we can change and adapt in these very uncertain times. Um, the ownership of anything you do is very important because as a leader, if you do the top, bottom, down approach, you lose those that you're leading. So our structure is very flat. Everybody feels like they have a stick in the business and that has really helped galvanizing the growth that we're experiencing as a company. Um, and I think generally, you have to look past now because tough times don't always last as they say. But we will, we will survive. And, and I guess the most important thing about a forum like this um, is that it allows leaders, people running their businesses, different sectors, together, rubbing minds. It allows you to understand that you are not on this journey alone. And I always say this, communication is very important. The more you talk, the more solutions arise. And in Robin Minds, almost all the speakers here today have said the same thing. The same ideas, the same plans, each and every one of them has come up with. So this is the way to go. So as a woman in leadership, you have done this and you've done this so well. What's an attribute? I'm a woman as well, yes. rising leader. What is one attribute that you say we need to? to actually do well as a leader? I think the womanly virtue that we have, God gave, is that ability to bring everyone together. I think it's a unique strength of listening to your many children, making sure that there is a feeling of oneness. And I think that is one skill set that I've been able to bring into the three businesses that I own, Terra Culture, BAP Productions, and Mastercard uh, Foundation, Terra Academy. So we ensure that everybody feels heard, everybody feels like they're part of the family. And I think that's one strength that women have. I didn't say the other gender does not have it, but women have it. <laughs> and that's what we must always be. I think it's very important because when people feel like they're part of something, and I think it's that sense of ownership as well that Nigeria is lacking. People don't feel that or what is going on. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Will. Thank you very much. You're welcome.